you are watching on Devil TV with the Acer Aspire 1 um, 521 netbook with an AMD, uh, AMD Nile platform which is actually an AMD Athlon K125 processor and an ATI HD Radeon 4225 graphics card. So enough with the numbers, let's check out some multimedia stuff on this 10 inch HD device starting off as always um, with a YouTube HD video inception first only in 360p. Let's go full screen and play this thing. Now I already tried this in the German testing video and 360 works fine as always as any other netbook does also. 480p of course same thing. 720p is a point where usually an Atom netbook would already give up but as you can see it's smooth like a baby's ass so <laughs> um, this plays pretty awesome streaming over Wi-Fi and let's turn it up a notch 1080p let's see if there is a picture with a lot of movement but yeah, for example here, as you can see, about 23, 22 frames per second, there is some pictures that are missing, but if you're not looking too closely, you can watch 1080p videos streaming on your 10-inch netbook, which is pretty damn awesome. If you want to output it on the HDMI, which this one has, it works. So that's, as I said, great. So let's check out some regular website like the New York Times to see how a 10 inch netbook behaves with the regular internet and not watching HD videos because we are not doing that every day. So yeah, if you want to read a website that has some more, yeah, some good content and as you can see, clearly readable from side to side, 1024 times 600 is the resolution of this fella and let's go on with the videos 720p locally mov h264 encoded and the player is the media player classic home cinema edition which supports actually graphic acceleration so as you can see this plays smooth also but an atom n450 Place this seven, same 720p video, well, as great as the AMD platform does it right now. So yeah, actually let's go up with the volume a little bit. As you can see we have a little bit of Apple style here with the volume, the display strength. I have the minimum right now. Um, yeah, if you turn that up or down you only see the difference, but there is no icon for that on the screen. So let's continue with 1080p of this same video. Before I tried it with VLC and it was slow, but yeah, interesting. The Media Player Classic can't handle fast movements either. The Atom N450 usually does. Okay, this is not good. Let's play the same thing with VLC, open with. Uh, it works a little bit better, not much, but yeah, if you directly compare this to an Atom, actually the Atom performs better, which is pretty interesting. Since streaming is usually the harder part, but yeah, maybe it's because of the codecs that are available right now. So they have to work on the ATI. Graphics acceleration. So this was HD movies. Uh, I can't try it with Blu-ray right now, but yeah, let's check out the picture quality with a standard um, series, which I like. For example, Burn Notice. As you can see from the front, the colors are great. And then as soon as we go to the side, they change a little bit. Maybe down with the menu here on the bottom. So this is it from the side. And this is it from the left side. 
Actually, what I really love about this netbook, I can show you right now, is you can turn down the display like this. 180, almost 180 degrees. And I can already show you yeah, from the bottom, it's going to be, of course, a little bit dark. And from the top, it's bright, but that's normal. Usually you only watch from the left and right side. So this is how it looks like from the side. But let's go on with some picture and game testing. Not doing much game testing right now because there's already a bunch of videos out there which show games that are running on here like NO 1404 or World in Conflict or any other newer and interesting game. Let me play you some music so you can check out the oops, from program. This is Movie Maker. Ah, I don't want Movie Maker. I don't want to make a movie. But as you saw, it opens pretty quickly <laughs> with the DDR3 RAM, not do, uh, not too. So there we have some music, maximum volume, speakers are right here. We go a little bit back. It sounds fine to me, a little bit mono, but. It's better than on the Asus devices as far as I can hear it. So let's go on with some pictures. Actually, let me start with this one. These are from New Zealand and 5 me megapixel and you can hear actually when I hit the space button so you can hear when I hit next to see how fast they are loading after each other. That's actually me on the bottom and yeah, as you can see it's pretty quick even though we only have one gigabyte of RAM but it's not faster than with the Atom processor. Now if you want to edit something like this in Photoshop, let me open my Photoshop CS4. Um, it works a little bit better than with the Adam, but not much. So actually the new platform is only better for gaming and video watching. Anything else Intel is working on right now because they are having their new Atom N455 processor with DDR3 already, which should help with some Things let me load in a 5 megapixel picture, and if I cut out a piece like this, maybe as I always do, Ctrl X, Ctrl V, and move it around, you will see right away this is not as slow as on the Intel Atom. Compare that, and if I just leave it here and start smudging it, you will see that it's actually almost as slow as it. Uh, Intel device. If I do a little bit more things like here going through this whole thing from the left to the right, he has to calculate a lot. So that's that. And the last thing is Counter Strike 1.6 testing. While that is loading, I'm going to show you around the device. The keyboard is great, multi touch touchpad is also amazing single mouse buttons now nah, yeah but they could be better they are single but they're a bit loud for me and yeah so let's go on with the ports we have two usb ports here on the side then a headphone a microphones um, power kensington and a lan port on the bottom you can change the whole ram um, hard drive, Wi-Fi and anything you want. There is no extra PCI Express slot though. On the other side we have a multi-card reader for SD, XD, um, Sony sticks and so on. Then I have plugged in an external hard drive right now. The fan is almost always on but you, can't barely, you can barely hear it except for if you're playing a game. Uh, or doing heavy-duty work, but then yeah, you should get headphones or 
by the desktop with water cooling then we have HDMI and the VGA port and yeah as you already saw some status LEDs and the power right there the battery lasts for about three hours of gaming five hours of office work with um, wireless and even more without wireless so let's start the game 12 players as always 800 times 600 is the resolution on this Counter-Strike I have here and it is using OpenGL um, yeah and that's almost actually it with the Acer Aspire 1 521 I'm just going to start up here and as you can see graphics are a lot better than with a standard Atom device and there is no lagging at all so this is clearly a gaming netbook and video multimedia netbook. and I think I'm dead no I'm not dead but this is way too loud and last thing I'm going to show you here is that the battery life here on the bottom says with an external hard drive 2 hours and 40 minutes at 81% so as I said 3 hours under gaming with um, wireless is a pretty good um, runtime I think for a 4400 milliamp battery you can check out more videos how to dissect it how it looks like from the inside unboxing and other netbooks tablets and IDs on Endevil TV and Endevil.com, which is a, my German blog for everything mobile. Thank you for watching. I'm Bolasgar.